Hi there, this is Dr. Pan recording from Tucson, Arizona. Hoping you're having a good math day. Thank you for watching this clip on graphing inequalities. Graphing inequalities are closely related to graphing lines. We've got to graph the lines first, and then we're going to shade each half of the line. Let's get started. The first one, we're going to graph the line. Graph line. A line is an equal sign. Minus 3x plus 1, because every point on the line fits into this equation. And I can use that to my advantage in that I can find two points. When x equal to 0, y is 1. And I'm very aware a lot of students rather use point slope, which is fun. There's no uh, right or wrong. When x equal to 1, I have minus 3 times 1. It's minus 3 plus 1, so I have minus 2. But I prefer to draw two points. To me, it seems two points is easier. Anyway, 0 to 0 and minus uh, positive 1. I have a point here. Positive 1 and minus 2. I have another point here. So here's my line. Uh, it's a solid line because I have an equal sign in my original inequality over there. So here's my line. Okay, now, whether to shade this half or this half, the best thing, the quickest way to check is check is 0, 0. The reason is this. This line cuts the graph into half. I'm either on this half or this half. This half doesn't have a 0, 0 in there, and this half does. So what I want to do then is check, say, if 0, 0 fits in my inequality. My original inequality says zero, uh, y is bigger than minus 3x plus 1. So is it true when the y equal to 0, I'm going to put a question mark, is it true that 0, it, it plug in here is minus 3 times 0, which is 0 plus 1, I have 1. Is it true 0 is bigger than 1? The answer is no. So I don't want 0, 0 included in my solution set. Therefore, I'm going to shade this half. Okay, once again, I'm going to use 0, 0 as my checking point. Now let's try the second one. y is less than minus half an x plus uh, minus 1, actually. Okay. Once again, I'm going to graph the line first. Minus half, minus 1. And uh, this time, I'm going to use the point and slope. So when x equal to 0, there's x, y is minus 1. Okay, so x equal to 0, y is minus 1, so here is my point. And then the minus 1 and a half means goes over and down 2. So let's try that. Goes over and down 2. Minus 1 and down 2. So here is my point. Let's draw the line. It's a little steeper than I thought. Here is the line. Okay. Now, actually, I should use dotted lines because I have inequalities that doesn't have an equal sign on it. So hopefully, you can say it's a dotted line. Let's write it dotted line. All right, now we're going to use 0, 0 again to test it. So I have a 0 as a true. If I plug it in there, 0 is less than minus 1. The answer is no. So I don't want this point. I want everything that's away from 0, 0 point. All right, that's how we handle this type problem. Once again, from Tucson, Arizona, this is Dr. Pan. If the video has been helpful, I would appreciate a comment or a thumb up. Until next time, have a confident day.